Hi Virgo! I'm here today to do your reading for February and I'm using a new deck that I just got. It's the Fairy Tarot Cards by um, Dorian Virtue. And they're beautiful, they're beautiful cards. I really like fairies a lot. I was having a hard time determining a spread to do and I was led to do a free free form spread. So what I'm going to do is lay out three cards. And then four cards. And do the reading off of this. And then another three cards. These last three cards are going to be strictly about love because February is Valentine's Day. It's the month of love. So these cards I'm going to leave upside down until we read them. And then I also have my um, Gilded Reverie Lenormand cards for clarification, if we need clarification on anything. So first I'm going to start with, I'll just hold the cards up. Well, actually, I'll point at him. I'm going to start up here. We have the High Priestess, the Emperor, the Lovers, Nine of Autumn, which is Nine of Coins, the Sun, Four of Spring, which is Four of Wands, and Eight of Spring, which is Eight of Wands. Well, it looks to me like even though this is the general reading part of your tarot reading for February, it's talking all about love in this section also. Um, you are really in tune with your intuition, your spirituality. You are really on point right now. You are um, connecting with the divine and having spiritual moments, um, spiritual awakenings, and and they're not when you want them to happen because we can't actually plan when we're going to be awakened. But you are. You're having spiritual awakenings. But you are strong and you are knowledgeable about this situation. So you are able to handle this. And there is someone around you that loves you a lot. This is a strong love. This is a twin flame, a soulmate, someone that you are meant to be with. At this time, you are being really self-sufficient and focusing on your, your work and your daily routine just so you can be self-sufficient and take care of the mundane stuff that you need to take care of. Everything you do throughout the month, you will be very fortunate. You will be very, very um, favored and and the sun shines on you. Everything you touch, it, it more or less turns to gold. You're building up that with the work and your stability that you're having, your self-sufficiency, you're building up that, that base that you have right now, your home life, your strength, your, your core. But like I said before, you have this strong love, this twin flame love, this soulmate love that is around you that is just growing and starting to develop. And it's going to start moving fast because you have eight of wands or eight of spring in this deck and it's going to move really fast. You're going to have a lot of love being brought to you quickly. And this may trigger a lot of your awakening, your healing. In the process, you're going to be healing with these aha moments, with this awakening, with this spirituality and, and experiences that you are encountering along the way. But you will be focusing on work a lot in the month. 
so you can have that strong base, that strong home foundation support. Now let's look at the love for the month. Even though that spoke a lot about love, let's see specifically about your love at this time. <clears throat> You have the Princess of Winter, which is the Princess of Swords, the Queen of Winter, which is the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Summer, which is the Four of Cups. Okay, the card with Princess of Winter says, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic, information that can help you but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. These represent the swords, represent air signs, which are Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. There could be a young, like they said, an indigo child or adult. There could be a young person around you that is affecting your love at this time. It may be um, you are trying to develop this love that you have, this soulmate and, and experience that you are trying to develop and grow, but this indigo child is still there and still needs your attention and needs you to take care of them or to help them along the way. And that may inhibit the growth throughout February, not later down the line, but just for this month of February, that may affect you getting to grow and nurture this soulmate relationship. Now, the Queen of Winter, they always talk about this as being the cold widow and, and she's very calculated and divorce and stuff like that. But I really don't look at her as that. Like the card says, strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. So even though you're in the process of taking care of other people, and you are being patient, and like I said, you are very self-sufficient, and that's something you need to do at this time. You need to take care of your stability, your core, and this will slowly develop along the way. Even though you're not trying to further your career, you're just working on your work. You're working on making money and taking care of your bills and your responsibilities. So this indigo child is taken care of and you will have time and resources to spend with your soulmate. And with the four of summer, you are kind of distracted and you're not able to see the subtle, the subtle um, expressions of love being offered to you because you have a lot on your plate and you have a lot of responsibility along with your child, the indigo child or young adult and your home life and your responsibilities. So, but there is a love, a subtle love, an underlying love being offered to you and presented to you throughout the month. It's very soft and, and enduring. It's a very true, wholesome love that's being shown and given to you at this time. So it looks like you are going to have a pretty strong month, a very powerful month for you. You have most of the cards here in your general reading is major arcana cards and that means you don't have a choice in this this direction with having your um, spiritual awakening, having your um, aha moments and your intuition and your experiences, you have no choice on that. But you are strong, stronger than you realize. 
And it's time for you to meet this, this love and to experience divine love and love, a new level of love being presented to you. It's all going to turn out really well for the month. So I wish you all the, bless, the best for February, and I bless you all.